Well, that definitely changes things. Looks like the neighbors are going to be giving us some trouble. They see me. They're coming after me. Oh no, don't you go after my sheep. Hold on, let me come down there. I'm going to kick your butt. Oh, real tough. Three against one. Come on. Come on, let's do this. I'll, I'll take all you on. I don't care. Wow, you guys hurt. Haha, <laughs> you missed. And now you're gonna die. You're dead. You're dead. I'm dead. Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Morvar, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, uh, bit of a busy, uh, <laughs> bit of busy happenings have been happening <laughs> since the last episode. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of exploring, and we've got some insane stuff to check out in the future. Uh, I kind of took a boat and I went thing that way and this way. Uh, there, I, my theory was correct that there is a uh, a swamp biome, a swamp biome, uh, like just that way I think. So we're gonna be pillaging that uh, one day. Uh, there's also a crazy, uh, like outback biome I think you call it, uh, out that way full of like mountains and stuff uh, that we're going to be taking a look at one day and there's a, like okay so full disclosure I did a little bit of research into what's changed in Minecraft since I last played and uh, nobody told me that the nether now spawns like these these weird altars with like this crazy obsidian and I'll show you the images like on this on the screen here and like in just a second if my if a uh, future me doesn't forget but uh yeah so uh just did a little bit of exploring I did some mining uh what I really want to do today guys is I want to uh start working on our base because I kind of have an idea for a starter house at least I want to have something that overlooks this beautiful village that we so desperately should protect. Like, they were so gracious to give me so much charity and so much love and attention that I feel it is my duty as a good citizen to to kind of watch over them like a good citizen would. So, uh, I kind of want to have it set up right above here. Uh, I don't really have like a, like a set. I know I want it to look like house-ish, if that makes any sense. Uh, I have a little bit of an area cleared out. The problem is that there's not a whole lot of room to actually build here, so I'm gonna have to get a little creative to kind of uh, have a, to kind of utilize the space as much as possible. Uh, we do have a, a fair bit of room, but not a whole lot. Uh, also, what's going to be interesting is trying to figure out uh, a way of getting to and from the, the house. Oh yeah, and I also collected some sheep and uh, killed, I think they're called illagers, uh, like you saw earlier in that clip. Uh, I didn't know they, they could spawn right here. I thought that like their whole thing was like they, they spawn whenever... Uh, whenever there's like one of their tower thingies nearby or something, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of my plan. I also want to kind of spruce things up just a little bit. Uh, maybe add like, maybe add like a, a nice little doorway that leads into the mine. Because I've also found a nice little, uh, like the beginnings of, a, of an abandoned mine shaft. I cannot talk today. Excuse me, everybody. Uh, but yeah, guys, I have quite a bit of uh, stuff planned for today. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so first thing I want to do is I want to kind of uh, have the base layout of the of the house kind of uh, well laid out. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, my mind is a little bit blank right now because uh, I'm recording this at 1:41 in the morning. 
So, yeah, I'm a little bit loopy. Uh, so... Okay. So I don't know if I should build it right on the edge of the cliff. But I definitely want to build close. So, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and... make some slabs because I do love me some slabs all right so I definitely want the like an entrance like about here-ish so maybe like double doors or maybe one door yeah let's do one door uh, I don't have my axe with me uh, so we're gonna put a single door here because I'm not planning on doing anything super technical in this build. So, we're going to go like this. To where it kind of makes like a little foyer area. Or foyer, however you say it. Uh, all of you British uh, speaking audiences, uh, please correct me in the comments. Uh, so we got that going on right here. That might feel a little cramped. Maybe. Uh, well, let's let's lay it out. Uh, let's finish laying it out. We'll see. All right. So we want to go like this. Oh, you know what would be cool is if like we have like a uh, like a little indention in here that kind of like juts out just a little bit to where it kind of like uh, has like a little like a little uh, sunroom, if you will. And speaking of sun, it looks like, yep, the sun is going down. So we're going to go ahead and take ourselves a big sleep. Just right on quick. And while we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and make myself an axe. Because I think I might have lost it in the Illager fight. We have a ton, we have a ton of uh, iron. That's about the only resource we can we seem to find that and coal. Uh, however, if we explore that uh, that good old little uh, you know that little mine shaft there, you know maybe we'll find some better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think the sunroom would kind of maybe jut out just a little bit here. Oh, whoopsie. How big should it be? Probably like that. Yeah, I feel like that's a good, uh, a good round off. And then maybe, like, have it like this. Yeah, that'll, that'll look okay. And have, like, glass, like, just kind of over here. That way I can come in here and just go, ah, look at this village that I have emplaced myself the responsibility of watching over. Like a guardian angel or a ruinous devil. Anyway, speaking of ruinous devil, uh, I changed my skin. Uh, I can't tell you what the name of the skin is because I honestly don't remember. I just wanted something spooky and my other uh, skin wasn't edgy enough, so hey. There you go. But, yeah, so, maybe I should have, like, hmm, I'm thinking, like, I should have, like, another way of getting out of it. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Like, maybe have that as, like, a little pool or something down there. That'd be cool. So, let's go ahead and place this down. Don't really want it completely on the edge here. So like maybe like that and eh. Hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, that'll be alright for right now. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill in this outline and I'll go ahead and get back to you. Alrighty guys, so I went and uh, laid out the slabs like how I think the house is gonna look So basically what we have here is that this is going to be kind of a uh, Kind of just like a, uh, a sort of 
uh, makeshift machine room, like where, uh, I say machine room, it's gonna have like a few things, like eventually like I'll have like, you know, a potion set up here and whatnot. Uh, I don't think it's big enough to have like a enchanting room in here, but basically the main uh, gimmick with this is that I'm eventually going to rig up some trap doors and then I'll be able to just dive right down in here into the nice little uh, pool that we're gonna go ahead and build. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get to that today, but uh, yeah, that's uh, the basic building plan that I have laid out. Um, I've also been testing out some uh, blocks, but uh, on on uh, the PS4 edition of Minecraft, which is what me and my wife have been playing on, uh, and apparently in the game now there are stripped wood plant uh, wood logs. So I kind of want to see how that's going to look. That's not going to look right. That's going to bother me. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it see what that looks like. But, um, uh, hmm. I think that blends a little too well with the, with the thing. I wonder if birch would look okay. Let me see if I have some birch uh, in my chest here. Let's see what this looks like. I still think this is going to blend in too much. Alright, so we're just going to go with regular old uh, oak wood uh, logs for the, uh, for, you know, the posts. Mmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think I can ignore that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some logs there. And it's almost time for Sleepy Sleeps. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this done quick. Uh, I generally like to put oak wood thingies like every like every other corner just to so that it looks like it's kind of somewhat stable <laughs> and won't uh, fall apart due to Minecraft logic but uh, so we're gonna put him like here I think I think that'll look okay and actually maybe I want these like coming in on the outside Maybe? I don't know. Put one here for sure. Because we're going to try to utilize as much space as possible. And... Maybe right here, I think. I think that'll look okay. What I really wish you could do in the game is combine slabs. Like, I wish that I could put... Uh, like a piece of cobblestone slab on top of this. That would look really sick. Like, just imagine the possibilities of it. That'd be great. That'd be great! Let me put this one on the outside here. Yeah. And of course... Let me put these on the outside too. Just to, just to kind of play with it a little bit. Just to kind of play with it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright. So I'm not going to add the... Mm. I'm not going to add the the uh, logs to the, the little uh, jets, the little jetties right here. Because uh, I feel like the... Like adding them onto the jetties and oh my goodness, I need to sleep. It is way past my bedtime. But uh, I feel like adding oak wood to the to the little jetty parts. Haha, <laughs> you're burning. <laughs> Bye. Ow. Ow. Here we go. Alright. Are you a friend? You better be a friend. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh anyway. So 
<laughs> that's probably going to kill me later. I already know it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to add the logs to the jetty parts because I feel like that would make them look a little too... I think it would look a little too stiff. A little too stiff. Oh, no. That's not what I want. That's not what I wanted at all. Here we go. Alright. So... For this whole part, like, I'm going to have, like, glass on it, and, like, maybe, like, have, like, uh, trap doors, like, for the, for the top of it, because I want this to be, like, a legit sunroof, like, where, like, there's as little of the structure of the house air, like, air, uh, intervening, is that, is that the word, uh, corrupting the, the, uh, the image, of like seeing through a sunroof, you know, it, it makes sense in my head. So, uh, hmm, I think that's a pretty good outline laid out. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to probably get rid of all these slat. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll get rid of some of it, and we'll see what happens. Alright y'all, so I kinda went a little 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 crazy. A little crazy. And I kind of uh went and started to build a little bit more of the walls. I really like uh like this cobblestone accent with the uh with the birch wood. So I think that's what we're gonna be going with. I've also taken the liberty of making some slabs of like that are all like kind of the same color ish. But like just enough to kind of make people know, make you notice like that they're there, and I'm gonna like kind of place them like just all around, just to kind of give it that extra little pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, uh, gonna put a few just all around, and wanted to kind of give you guys a little status update on what was going on, and. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and put a pin on this for right now, because there's actually, a f like, one or two things I want to do before this episode closes out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in a second. That's looking good up there. It's looking good, isn't it? I'm not too crazy about, like, how flat it's looking, though. Like, I think, I think, like, a few parts, like, should, like, kind of poke out a little bit more. You see, like, that right there, that's fine. But that right there, I feel like, like, the right side should either go in or go over just a little bit. But we'll look at that. We'll look at that uh, a little bit later. But we have stuff to do for right now. Alright everybody, so, made myself some armor, got myself a shield, booyah, and got myself some food and some torches, and a clear inventory. That's right, we're going delving, we're going mining, we're going explore and pillage the deep underground. So I really want to kind of give that little, uh, that little mine shaft down there a nice little peek, because... There's typically good stuff in these. I also brought a bucket of water with me, because you never know. Always place torches on the right side, and cave spiders. Immediately off the- uh oh. There's something in there. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, we're not gonna go that way yet. The trick is to lull them into a false sense of security. Come on, you bastard. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, these aren't cave spiders, so... We don't have to worry about poison. So that's good, at least. But... 
We're not gonna go there just yet. And there's a witch. Don't like him. I don't like him at all. A radar would be great right now. Die, skill of bones. There you go. You're dead. Uh oh. You can just go ahead and die. Oh goodness. This is. This is not gravy. This is not gravy at all. Ah, you bastard. And to think, the one thing I didn't bring with me was a, was a nice little cup of milk. Or as we like to call in Texas, frozen cow or not frozen cow juice. Alright. Sorry, Mr. Spider, even though you were kind of friendly, you just had to die. Alright. So there's all kinds of nasty stuff down here. And I'm not too fond of it, not gonna lie. Boy, we are, it's like we're, haha! Wasn't expecting that shield now, were you boy? Haha! <laughs> oh, please don't tell me there's a spar up there. Actually, that'd be great if there was a spawn up there, but not great right now. I hear a baby. Where's the baby? Oh, there's tons of stuff. I, I bet you anything there's a spawner up there. Okay. Lots of Zambos. Yeah, there's definitely a spawn around here. I can feel it. I sense a disturbance in the force. More like the farce. Alright. Torch, 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 torch. Aha! You suck! Oh my god, that's so many zombies. That is a lot of zombos. Alright, let him come to you. Let him come to you. Ow. Alright, we lit that way. Torch. Torch. Alright. So I have to kind of be careful which part of the mine we go into. I see you. I see you, Mr. Creepo. As they say in uh, Rocky, screw you, Creepo. Oh. That helped me and hurted me. It hurt me more than it helped me, though. Not gonna lie. Oh. Hello, it's a whole family. Come on. Thank you. I don't like you. Die. Alright. We got our torches laid out. So let's go ahead and look upstairs. I really should have made more torches. Ooh. What do we got here? Oh, yes. Yes. Give it all to me. See, that's the problem with these with these mine shafts. You think you're about to like go you think you're about to leave because you think you feel like you found everything, but you couldn't be more wrong. All right. 
Oh man, I really, I really just want to go cash out to be honest. Oh, good. Ow, 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 ow. Goodness, the hitbox is so weird on on these freaking spiders. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <sighs> I'm just going to hide in a corner and probably cry a little bit. Because I am a scared little boy. I do not like all the all the little skittery sounds I'm hearing. So we're gonna go ahead and head back up because I'm scared. I'm really scared. Cause uh Yeah. This is a, a bit of a nope. A bit of a nope, not gonna lie. Okay, so we came through here. And it was somewhere up there we go. That's where we were. All right. Okay, you're here. Oh, you want to go? I eat, I ate my Wheaties this morning, boy. You ain't gonna get me. Put some torches down just to dissuade any sort of tomfoolery. And I think my way out is somewhere this way. Oh! God, I hate, I hate him. I hate him. Ha ha! Suck it! Alright. So I came this way. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, make sure uh, whenever you're exploring, you always put your torches to one side so that you can find yourself easy. Nice! Alright, so anyway guys, now that I found myself out of that horrid hellhole, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot, as not as much as I was hoping, but... Uh, but I am really indecisive, what can I say? Anyway guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you like more videos like this, please sure to leave a comment. And oh my goodness, I'm going to sleep right now. But uh, if you enjoyed these kind of videos, be sure to leave a comment. Or yeah, just let me know and I'll keep making more of them. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.